pre-launch activities for our next commercial crew flight test, celebrating our home planet for Earth Day, and conducting high-flying science during the recent solar eclipse. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On April 25th, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams arrived at our Kennedy Space Center, where final preparations are underway for NASA's Boeing crew flight test to the International Space Station. They will be the first astronauts to launch aboard Boeing's Starliner spacecraft to the space station. Teams recently moved the Starliner from Kennedy to nearby Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in preparation for launch. Liftoff is scheduled for no earlier than Monday, May 6th. For Earth Day, we invited people around the world to take selfies and share them on social media as part of our global selfie event. Our worldwide celebration of Earth Day also included online resources at nasa.gov slash Earth Day. NASA studies our home planet more than any other. We operate 26 missions in orbit to observe our oceans, land, ice, and atmosphere, and measure how a change in one drives change in the others. A team from our Langley Research Center was in Fort Drum, New York during the April 8th total solar eclipse with a specially modified Alta-X uncrewed aircraft system, or UAS. The aircraft was used to study changes in the sun's radiation during the solar event. The UAS also collects data on temperature, relative humidity, pressure, and wind, so it is also being tested as an alternative to using traditional weather balloons, which are typically not recovered once they are released. NASA has confirmed its Dragonfly rotocraft mission to Saturn's organic-rich moon, Titan. The rotocraft, targeted to arrive at Titan in 2034, will fly to dozens of promising locations on the moon looking for prebiotic chemical processes common on both Titan and early Earth before life developed here. Dragonfly marks the first time NASA will fly a vehicle for science on another planetary body. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.